Good morning everyone. Welcome to the morning devotion praying through the psalms. My friends today we are praying the second part of Psalm 89 verses from 20 through 53. The whole section deals God's promise to David that God will establish David's kingdom forever. And the author remains the same. Ethan, one of David's singers is the author. And in this section, we can also see all God's people having a kind of vision where God assuring David that his kingdom will be there forever. Beautiful. We now read verses from 20 onwards. Then you spoke in vision. To your faithful ones you said. So the author remembers God's promise in a kind of vision. So God appeared to his people in a vision. I have set a leader over the warriors. I have raised up a chosen one from people. I have chosen David my servant. With my holy oil I have anointed him. My hand will be with him. My arm, my arm will make him strong. So if God is with someone, his arm, his strength will be double three times and four times, ten times and hundredfold. I will crush his foes. I will crush his enemies before him. Strike down those who hate him. My faithfulness and mercy will be with him. Through my hand, through my name, his horn will be exalted. Through my name, God tells that through God's name, through his name, David's horn, David's strength, David's regime will be exalted, will be fortified. My friends, we also know from the history that David fought as many as nine big battles. And in all these battles, David was victorious. David won all these battles just because of God's strength, God's presence with him. We now read verses from 26 through 30. I will set his hand upon the sea, his right hand upon the rivers. Beautiful. So here we see God promising David that he will stretch out his he will take his, his regime, his kingdom, as far as the seas, oceans and oceans and the rivers. What a blessing. He shall cry to me, You are my father, my God, the rock of my salvation. Very strange and very surprising that for the first time I guess that David is calling God as my father, my God, the rock of my salvation. It is uncommon. Normally, they would call God as O Holy One of Israel, or O King, O Mighty One, O Almighty God, O Lord, Yahweh. But here for the first time, David tried to call God as my Father. Of course, now we call God as our Father, my Father. It's wonderful. I myself make him the firstborn most high over the kings of the earth so god would assure double blessings more blessings on david because the firstborn would get a lot of blessings the same way god promised many blessings on on david as the firstborn most high over the kings of the earth most high is a divine title but god here extends this divine his divine title to 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 david Forever I will maintain my mercy for him. My covenant with him stands firm. I will establish his dynasty forever. His throne as the days of the heavens. Wonderful. Very, very strange. Here, God promised that his kingdom will be there forever. And that David's kingdom will be strong and firm. Next verses are quite interesting. We now read verses from 31 through 38. If his descendants forsake my teaching, do not follow my decrees. If they fail to observe my statutes, do not keep my commandments. I will punish their crime with a rod and their guilt with blows. Here, God warned that if his descendants, if his children or children's children, 
would not keep his commandments would not follow his laws and regulations he will punish them but he will not forget his covenant his promise but i will not take my mercy from him nor will i betray my bond of faithfulness so god might punish his descendants if they don't observe his commandments follow his follow his statutes but then he will not remove this his his faithfulness his promise that his dynasty will be there forever beautiful i will not violate my covenant the promise of my lips i will not alter i will not change wonderful by my holiness i swore once for all i will never be false to david so my words god tells that his words are not false his dynasty will continue forever his throne like the sun before me like the moon it will stand eternal forever firm like the sky what a beautiful statement here even if his descendants don't follow they they, they do not keep his laws and the statutes even if they are unfaithful to god god here he promised that he might punish them he might warn them he might punish them but he will not take away his promise he will not violate his promise beautiful so far things have been quite safe and smooth to the people of god israel but then after david and his son solomon passed away kings and people proved unfaithful to god they had been disobedient to god and his laws consequently they lost god's favor they lost his mercies now what happens enemies came invaded they have destroyed the cities they have desecrated they have demolished the temple and they have taken people of god god's people as captives to their land now when the psalm wrote this particular section they have been taken as captives to the land of babylon by the king nabukadnazar so at this at this time it is at this time that the, the author wrote this particular section complaining to god who oh god we have been crushed and the enemy is being exalted now we have no safety we now read couple of sentences from the last section from 39 through 53 few sentences but now you have rejected and spurned been enraged at your anointed you renounced the covenant with your servant defile his crown in the dust so here you see oh god you have been angry you have, you have rejected us you have spurned us you have been angry with your anointed people and 43 you have exalted the right hand of his force you have exalted you know the the enemies have gladdened all his enemies verse 40 for you turned back his sharp sword did not support him in the battle so you did not support us you are supporting you have supported the enemies now they have been exalted we have been now dethroned verse 50 51 where are your former ways where are your former mercies o lord that you swore to david in your faithfulness o god where where are your former mercies why are you not kind to us what what happened to the to to your promise that you made to david your servant remember lord the insults to your servants how i have borne in my bosom the slander of the nations your enemies lord insult they insult each step of your anointed people so the other on behalf of the community pour out their concern pour out their agony before the lord trying to beg of him to remind to to remember his covenant that he made to 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 his servant david and the psalmist uh, closed the psalm like like this blessed be the lord forever amen and amen my friends psalm 89 is a kind of beautiful psalm where the psalmist brings in the glory of god in the first part his glory in the heavens his glory on earth and in second part section 2 we can see here the psalmist reminding god's promise that he made to david and because of their their 
the captivity in the land of Babylon now he, they pray as one community all of them now they, they, they plead with God to have mercy on them so my friends this is the spirit of the psalm this is the meaning of the psalm with all these thoughts in mind with this background with the spirit of the psalmist the psalmist trusted God the whole the whole community trusted the Lord they are asking of his pardon and mercies with this spirit we now pray psalm 89 second part verses from 20 through 53 then you spoke in vision to your faithful ones you said I have set a leader over the warriors. I have raised up a chosen one from the people. I have chosen David, my servant. With my holy oil I have anointed him. My hand will be with him. My arm will make him strong. No enemy shall outwit him, nor shall the wicked defeat him. I will crush his foes before him. Strike down those who hate him. My faithfulness and mercy will be with him. Through my name his horn will be exalted. I will set his hand upon the sea, his right hand upon the rivers. He shall cry to me, You are my Father, my God, the rock of my salvation. I myself make him the firstborn, most high over the kings of the earth. Forever I will maintain my mercy for him. My covenant with him stands firm. I will establish his dynasty forever. His throne as the days of the heavens. If his descendants forsake my teaching, do not follow my decrees. If they fail to observe my statutes, do not keep my commandments, I will punish their crime with a rod and their guilt with blows. But I will not take my mercy from him, nor will I betray my bond of faithfulness. I will not violate my covenant. The promise of my lips I will not alter. By my holiness I swore once for all. I will never be false to David. His dynasty will continue forever. His throne like the sun before me. Like the moon, it will stand eternal, forever firm like the sky. But now you have rejected and spurned, been enraged at your anointed. You renounce the covenant with your servant, defiled his crown in the dust. You broke down all the city walls, left his strongholds in ruins. 
All who pass through seize plunder. His neighbors deride him. You have exalted the right hand of his foes. Have gladdened all his enemies. You have turned back his sharp sword. Did not support him in battle. You brought to an end his splendor. Hurled his throne to the ground. You cut short the days of his youth. Covered him with shame. How long, Lord, will you hide forever? Must your wrath smolder like fire? Remember how brief life is. How frail the sons of man you have created. What is man that he should live and not see death? Who can deliver his soul from the power of shell? Where are your former mercies, Lord? That you swore to David in your faithfulness? Remember, Lord, the insults to your servants. How I have borne in my bosom the slander of the nations. Your enemies, Lord, insult. They insult each step of your anointed. Blessed be the Lord forever. Amen and Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, we thank you, we praise you, we honor you, and here we are bowing down before you. Lord, it is a great privilege, it is a great blessing to praise and thank and bow down before you. Lord, we like to do this every day. We like to do this every single moment. Give us this great gift the gift of praising and adoring you. Lord, you have given us this beautiful day and we don't deserve it. You give this out of your own love for all of us. As we cherish this day, as we begin this day, O oh Lord, may we be ever grateful to you through the day. May we remember that it's your gift to us and in turn help us to give it back to you in a wonderful manner having achieved something good for you, for your people. Lord, mold us, chisel us, use us for your glory. Bless all your people, O Lord, who watch this program, who participate in this series, praying through the Psalm series. Bless the near and dear ones. Bless the sick members of our families. Have pity on them. Lord, have special concern for those people who are away from you, who went away from you for different reasons. Lord, bring them back once again. Give them repentance of heart. May they be saved. May they be brought again by you, by your mercies. Lord, as we pray Psalm 89, part 2, we see the people of God they remembered your mercies. They remembered your covenant and asked for your mercies once they were in difficulties. Lord, help us in our difficulties. Help us in our sorrowful moments that we can always turn to you. Turn toward you and ask of your mercies and forgiveness. Bless us once again. Keep us safe in your love. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Hope you like Psalm 89. Psalm 89 is a beautiful and wonderful psalm as it unfolds to us God's glory both in heaven and on earth. And in addition, 
we can also see here very clearly god's love for his people and people reached out to god in their difficulties what a beautiful song thank you for watching our program my friends praying through the psalms kindly stay tuned to our program praying through the psalms through jc cave creations both on facebook page and youtube channel you may also spread your word about this program with your friends and other people they could be part of this and benefit as well thank you again see you next with some 90 until then stay blessed mm-hmm.